Artemis, uh, what do you think is going to happen? Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, it's definitely been announced that the new administration wants to go to Mars. Right. Um, sure. I don't believe there's going to be a total abandonment of the moon. I believe there's going to be moon and Mars happening. I don't know how much moon is going to be left. You know, if we descope the moon and go to Mars, I really don't know how much the descope will be. But I do think there's going to be U.S. companies going to the moon and U.S. companies, mostly SpaceX, going to Mars um, at the same time. Well, where does that leave? I mean, in your opinion, what do you think should happen with Artemis and SLS and um, uh, Orion? I mean, all of it, you know. Well, I'm, I'm a big fan of the moon. I really think that the United States government should focus on the moon. I believe that they should fund SpaceX to develop technologies that have dual use for Mars and that SpaceX should press ahead building a city on Mars as fast as they can. Yeah. But I don't think the U.S. government should get off track from the moon because of the geopolitics. Um, Mars is so far from Earth that it's not going to really be a big player in geopolitics, mm -hmm. but the moon will be. Um, not right away, Right. But within some decades, it's going to become geopolitically vital. And unfortunately, the policies for the moon are going to be established a lot sooner than the moon becomes economically important. And so we need to be in the game establishing the lunar policies now, you know, strike while the iron is hot or, you know, work the cement before it hardens. And so um, 40 years from now, there's going to be, I think there's going to be computer servers on the moon. I think there's going to be vast computer cities on the moon because AI is, is going to continue to grow with no upper limit. Yeah. And eventually, because of the economic impact on Earth, it's going to be priced out of Earth real estate. And it's going to be going to space because it'll be cheaper to put it in space than on Earth. And the materials on the moon are good for radiation shielding and also for establishing a supply chain to do other things. And so I think eventually there's going to be vast acres of computer farms on the moon. And the countries that have the access to the best resources on the moon are going to have an amazingly gigantic advantage over countries that don't. So I really think NASA needs to stay on the path for Artemis and do lunar missions. Um, I'm afraid we might not.